Right now, though, it's time for some great do-it-yourself floral designs. We're going to turn our store-bought flowers into a dazzling display, and here to show us how is celebrity flower designer himself, founder of the American School of Flower Design, Michael Gaffney. Hi, Michael. Michael. Hi, Michael. Good, 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 good to see what you. What an honor. Good to see That's you. So nice. Thanks for having me. So we want to know right away some of the famous clients who. Uh, well. We, we, with. we have schools in uh, San Francisco, so yeah, this is great, great to be here. Happy to be on the West Coast, but I have a school in New York, Chicago, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, and uh, I do design shows at Bloomingdale Saks, Fifth yeah. Avenue, Neiman Marcus. Uh, I was asked to do the flowers recently for Neiman. Uh, Jennifer Aniston's latest movie. Oh. And uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, wow. I work for him. So lots of opportunity That's happening. Exciting. Right. Yeah, it's exciting. Okay, and now so you can add Janelle and Spencer to the yes. list. Right, I'm going to turn you into designer <laughs> today. That's how, what I'm here how, for. How did your passion for flowers develop? Uh, it's a long story, but I was on my way to Wall Street. I had a job waiting for me on Wall Street, and I stopped at a flower shop, and it happened. Yeah. It's oh, a long story. Right. I'll tell That's you. A flower epiphany. Okay. okay. So well, what are we going to do? But what I was taught is that flower designing is based on why the schools work so well is that they're based on uh, principles of design. Okay. Yeah. Few simple principles of design works every time. Oh good, I okay? need to know because I, I always simple. buy flowers, I don't know how to when, arrange them. When I work for clients uh, and do shows at Bloomingdale's and th shows like that, they're amazed at how quick and easy it is, okay? okay? So give us some so, examples. So, for example over here, something we learned in class, it's called collaring. Oh. Like shirt collar, yes. oh, lace yeah. collar yeah. around a dress. That's all oh. you gotta think of, the collar around yeah. the dress. Right, right. So here we've got uh, hydrangeas and spray roses oh, and uh, kale. <gasps> if you notice kale. what's in the center, grab one flower and collar it with another material. Oh, okay? and so keep going around and yeah. around. Here we have a giant bouquet of stock. Okay. Yeah. C-O-C-K like stock market where I was supposed to be working on Wall Street. <laughs> yeah. And we've collared it with millet and uh, seeded uke. Hmm. So the look these days is very simple designing, you know. In the right. 80s, everything had to be a Dutch masterpiece of two flowers and this flowers. Now it's it's a much simpler look for the way we're living. Are the yeah. stems kind of cut the same length yeah. when you do yeah. it? Okay. You just grab lots of flowers. So okay. here I've taken, I'll show you real quick. I've taken roses, right. which you can buy at the grocery store, right. hydrangeas, I've like collared it. Yes. Right. And that's right it. There. It's a great look. And now, it's a great you're going to collar it more? I'm going to collar it some more and I'm going to make turn into a, a, what could oh. be used as a bridal bouquet. See how simple this is? Good idea. Well, you make it look simple. It is. Yeah. That is, that's a good tip because uh, I always try to interfuse them like, you know. Right. You're scattered. trying too hard. Yeah. So and it just yeah. never looks good. That's the method of our oh, school. Oh, that looks good. I like so that. So we're going to attach with some wire and. Uh, what kind of just regular wire yeah, you buy at the flower yeah, shop? Just regular. Okay. Perfect. Wire. That looks very nice. Now how long can you keep an arrangement like this fresh? What's the best way to? Uh, best way to keep flowers fresh? Uh, many, many ways. But the, the number one thing people don't understand: take this thing and put it under water. The whole thing? Take Just the whole thing like and that? set under water. Flowers yeah. like the human body, all water with a little color on top. Okay. Which is basically right. why your doctor tells you to drink lots of water. Yeah, yeah. that's a good. Same thing with flowers. Take the whole bouquet. Whenever you buy flowers, dunk it under water. When they come in from shipping, the first thing we do is stick them under water. Water, right? Half right. hour. That's why I've never had a wilted flower in 20 years of doing bridal oh bouquets. Oh, thank you, you so that's much. for you. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> now, Dwight, I heard the trick is to cut the stems diagonally. Uh, that helps too to open up the vessels. This is the straw that carries the water up. But when you dunk them under water, they absorb through the bark, through the leaves, oh. through the right. petals, right. through everything. Do you have to do that like every two days or no. anything or just once? No, just once. Okay. The flowers last twice as oh. long. So why don't you help us do a little creation here? Can we do that? Yes, I think All it's right. time we turn Spencer into designer. Oh, so Spencer, yes. if you yes. could yeah. pass that I'll over. I'll put this down here for now. Okay. Okay. Here's yours. So, oh my gosh. again, when I work for films and do lots of movie sets, they want it fast, they want it simple, they want it done, and they want it to, as I say, graphic work. So right. it shows up on film, you know, big, broad swatches right. of color. So, Janelle, you and I are going to do this together. We're going to put Spencer on his own. Okay? Uh, you're on your own. <laughs> I'm on my own. I so, a little technique. Real quick, we teach this at the San Francisco School of Flower Design. It's called basing, and it simply means at the base of a vertical line. Okay. Like an architect would teach, drop some flowers. So now just, you have this green foam in there. Yes, yeah, so this is a cube filled with green foam, foam, and we're just going to base. Look at. He's already up. Look at you. <laughs> you are natural, Spencer. Hey, so I'm this is actually. Youth. I'm a budding genius. <laughs> this is very much a look we did for uh, the Philip oh, Seymour Hoffman idiot. movie. And all the tables at a bridal, uh, one of the bridal wedding scenes in this film. Oh my goodness, how neat. Okay. So as you see. We've been, oh, more basing? Keep going. Yeah, oh, just keep going. More. more. Okay. This is a great holiday look for your table. That's it? Yep, that's it. That's beautiful. If you want. What you kind can... of thing is this? What is this? A tree? A plant? Uh, those are winterberry. Winterberries. Okay, did, it's not the whole tree, right? You just cut a big branch off? And if you want, off. you can add some oh, roses. Oh, look at that. That's such a good a idea. Yeah, little... Add a couple of roses. Okay. Hey, I, will, I get no rose. You get... What am I, chop liver? <laughs> yeah, okay. We have to finish this one first. Okay. Oh, there you go, <laughs> There you go, Spencer. Okay. Keep designing. That's <laughs>